Ah, oh, I'm tired. After all, the end of the month is busy. My name is Akito Kodagawa. I'm 32 and work in the accounting department of a small company. Accountants have a lot of work to do, such as issuing invoices and confirming payments, so we finish work late at the end of the month. I'm hungry. To the supermarket now? No, they probably don't have much left now. I guess I'll get a bento. So I head to a familiar bento shop near my place. The taste and price are good here, but the preparation is slow and the variety is small. But today there was a cute clerk, and I was relieved. Hey, but don't you think it's strange to let a child work until this hour? The office ladies, who were probably on their way home from work, were leaving the bento shop. Welcome to Smile Bento! Oh, Oji-san! The girl who greeted me cheerfully as soon as I entered the store was a girl who looked like she was still in kindergarten. Good afternoon, Toka-chan. Yukio-san. I'll have the noriben, please. Sure, thank you. <laughs> Oji-san, it's evening now, so it's good evening, right? Jeez. Sorry, sorry. Good evening. I got scolded by a kindergartner. Although she's only five, she sounds independent. But, Yukio-san, I don't think it's a good idea to have a child out here at a time like this. Yes, I'm fully aware of that. She hesitated a little. Well, this is a conversation I've had several times before. Mom isn't bad. I said I'd want to help. Ah, uh, okay. Is that so? You're great. Right? That being said, I also know her circumstances. Because she, Yukio Kurihashi, is my best friend's fiancé. No, it would be more correct to say former. Six years ago, Yukiho's grandmother left her delicatessen shop that she turned into a bento shop, and she started running it with my best friend, Natsuki Takizawa. But, just before the wedding, Natsuki suddenly passed away due to a sudden heart failure, leaving behind Yukiho-san and her daughter. At that time, Yukiho's daughter, Toka-chan, was still in her belly. By the way, Yukiho-san's parents are far away, and they're in a nursing home. Here, it's Noriben. 400 yen, please. I was told that while I was dealing with her daughter, Toka-chan. Here's the money. Yukio-san, if you have any trouble, please let me know. <laughs> Thank you for your concern, but it's a problem that I have to deal with. Is that so? See you then, Toka-chan. Yes! Thank you! Hey, best friend. Yukio-san's managing everything fine. Don't worry, I owe you one. So even if something happens, I'll do whatever I can- Uh, no. Actually, I have my limits too. I'll help her as much as I can. My joking mumbles disappeared into the night sky. A few days later, the invoicing at the end of the month has been completed, and I'm compiling the monthly data to be used in high-level meetings. Hello, Aki- Kuragawa-kun. How has it been since you became the section chief of accounting? And Mr. President, uh, <laughs> nothing really changes. Please don't worry. Actually, I was just promoted this spring. I see. That's good to hear. Good luck. Now, at my company, we generally finish on time, so it's 6 p.m. now. The shopping street is deserted. There are few shoppers during this time. Rumor has it that they are being bought out by a developer. I wonder what the Oden shop over there does in the summer. It's already early summer, so I can't imagine customers entering a Oden shop. Smao Bento is located in the corner of such a shopping street, and this place is not much different from others. The delicatessen shop was simply renovated, but to be honest, it is in disrepair. My best friend says it's unique. What unique? I'm sure he just didn't have enough money for a better renovation. Huh? What's that? It's Bento! It's a delicious bento! Toka-chan? Surprisingly, there was Toka-chan in front of the store, trying her best to attract customers. Bento, be Ah! oji -san. As I approached her, she noticed me. Oh jeez, she wouldn't stop helping me even if I said no. When I entered the store and asked Yukiho-san for bento, I got that response. Bento, it's a delicious bento. 
Tokachan is still raising her voice outside. <laughs> but it's already evening, so it's dangerous to leave her outside alone. Yes, so I think it's time to really stop her. Huh. Be Ento? Huh? Oji san? I stand next to the little clerk who is trying her best. I'm bored until my bento is ready. I'll help out too. Can you tell me how to invite customers? Uh, yes. But your mom is making your dinner now, so we have to go back inside once that's ready. Okay? Got it. <laughs> Oji san, thank you. Then, it seems like there were a little more customers than usual, and things got busier. After that, I ate dinner with Tokachan in the restroom in the back, and she probably got tired and fell asleep. I'm sorry, Akito-san. You even took care of Toka. No, that's what I said I would do. She worked really hard. Toka... I guess she wants to protect the shop in her own way. She believes that if we can maintain this shop, her papa will come back someday. She said with a kind face. That's a slightly lonely lie. I guess she knows this business is not going well. She's a smart kid. Is it really that bad? Is there anything I can do? <laughs> it's okay. I'll do something about it. Papa! The next day, on Saturday, for some reason, I became somewhat worried about the two of them, so I decided to go there around 2 p.m. Uh, Akito-san! Yukiho-san was the first to notice. Uh, Papa! Welcome! Papa? Tokachan calls me Papa for some reason. And when she gets close, she stumbles and... Quack! She headbutted into my private area! Akito-san? <laughs> Toka, what did you do? Huh? I was writhing in agony on the street for a while. And I decided to rest in the break room. I'm really sorry. Are you okay? Is it crushed? Or something popped out? What kind of situation is that? Papa, does it hurt? I'm sorry. Should be fine. The pain has gone away now. So, what's all this about Papa? I don't know. She's been asking me about Akito-san since this morning, and she keeps asking, isn't Papa coming? Papa! <laughs> it's not some sort of game or anything, right? Or did she misidentify me as her father? It's true that Tokuchan has never met Natsuki face to face, but... What kind of misunderstanding is this? Um, Tokuchan, I'm not your papa. Papa protects Mama and me. Huh? Papa is so strong, so Papa, help Mom. I was at a loss for words and couldn't deny her words. In the end, I wasn't in the mood to leave, so I ended up staying until closing time. She fell asleep. Well, I guess it's too late for a five-year-old. Tokachan is sleeping peacefully on my back. In the end, the misunderstanding that I was her father couldn't be resolved. <laughs> we apologize for causing you trouble. After all, without a father, I guess she feels lonely. Then, I arrived in front of their apartment, and I handed over Tokachan to her. Thank you so much. You really helped us out. Uh, no, no, it's fine. Um, I'll ask you again. The shop, is everything really okay? <sighs> to be honest, it's very tough. She said so sadly, and started explaining. Actually, I have been approached several times by No Magakoro Real Estate, and I've turned down their offer. So I got some advice from a consultant brought in by an Odin shop in the shopping district. The proposal was something like this. I don't know if there's a reason for this, but I think it's better to stop closing the shop so frequently, even if it's only for a short time. You should increase the variety of bentos, maybe? To make it easier to get repeat customers, don't let them get bored of your food. It's just a suggestion, but I think it would be interesting to have a daily bento for one coin, for example. The most important part is the store itself. 
Since the number of young people has increased in this area, the old stores may not be popular. Uh, she really says something difficult. She said so sadly. She has a five-year-old child and is managing everything by herself. There are many difficulties. But, but, if you renovate your store, there's a possibility of increasing the number of customers, right? Aren't you gonna renovate it? Please don't say it so easily. That's the shop I built with him. And my grandma, too. I realized my mistake. That's right. For her, that bento shop is something precious. In the first place, the cost is... I guess I have no choice but to close the shop. Excuse me. Good night. Then, how did I get home? I don't know. Before I knew it, I was looking up at the ceiling in my living room. A lot happened today. Toka-chan calls me Papa, and the store won't last anymore. Natsuki, what should I do? Natsuki didn't say anything to me, even in my dreams. <sighs> I wonder what I should do. A few days after that, I was on my lunch break. I was sighing loudly at work. Well, I know there's no point in worrying about it, but... Hey, I wonder who that child is. She's been in front of the office for a while. She says she's been waiting for Papa. Huh? As I listened to the female colleagues talking next to me, my smartphone on the desk began to vibrate. After confirming that it was from Yukiho-san, I immediately picked up the phone. Akito-san, please help me, my daughter! Toko ran out of kindergarten and disappeared! What? No way! The conversation from earlier! You have an idea? Ah! Papa! Just in case, I went outside the office and found Toka-chan there. To Toka-chan? Why are you here? Last time Mama and I walked around here, she told me you weren't here. But... Papa, please, please help Mama! Huh? Mama always cries at night. What should I do? So, Papa... You would help her, right? Papa, help Mama! She looked straight at me with a tearful expression, and I couldn't say anything. Come inside. Let's hear the story inside. It was the president who spoke to me. Toka-chan and I decided to move to the president's office and talk. I see. I can't understand the situation. That's why you came all the way out of the kindergarten to meet Papa? Papa, huh? Yeah... Mama is in trouble... If it's Papa... Toka-chan... Oh... Mr. President... When I saw Toka-chan's sad face like that, I bowed to the president with my hands and knees on the floor. Please, could you please help Toka-chan and Yukiho-san? What do you mean, Akito-kun? I don't have any power, but if it's you... Now, let me ask you a question. How much is that bow worth? None, but I don't think I'm bowing to the wrong person. Oji-san, don't bully Papa! Looking at the current situation, Toka-chan thought I was being bullied, so she stood in front of me to protect me. Hmm, <laughs> I see. She's just like him. Akito-kun, please look up. Also, was it Toka-chan? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bully him. Will you forgive me? Yeah, you said sorry, so I forgive you. The president gently patted Toka-chan's head with a gentle look on his face. I see. Thank you. You've grown so much. I'm a coward, huh? Then, the president stood up turned his back to us, and said, Akito-kun, I'm sorry, but I'll record it as the company's convenience, so could you please resign now? Huh? Wait, what do you mean all of a sudden? Oh yeah, the life insurance money I got when my son passed away remains in my account untouched. I would like to lend it to the bento shop where you work. Would you be willing to take the loan? That's what he, Takumi Takizawa, told me. Then, I immediately informed Yukino-san that I would take Toka-chan to her. But, Toka-chan, I'm surprised you were able to come to the office. It was quite far, wasn't it? <laughs> I worked hard, didn't you know? Even though it's not far for an adult, 
It must have been difficult for a kindergartner. Uh, Mama! Toka! When Yukiho-san saw us, she came running and hugged Toka. What are you doing? I was so worried! Even you! If even you leave me! Mama, I'm sorry. I went to see Papa. Huh? Smile Bento was temporarily closed, so I came to Yukiho-san's apartment. She's sleeping well. It must have been a big adventure for her to sneak out of kindergarten and go there. <laughs> it must have been. We apologize for the inconvenience, but I didn't think she would remember about that company, that her father worked there. I see. So she had told Tokachan that Natsuki used to work there. It wasn't about me. Natsuki and I used to work together at Natsuki's father's company. Thank you for bringing Toka this far. Oh, your work! Ah, ha ha ha. I actually got fired. What? He said, I won't allow you to come work here again until you help the bento shop that keeps my granddaughter sad. He's totally bringing his private life into work, isn't he? <laughs> I said that as playfully as possible. I didn't want to give off any sense of sadness. So, if you could hire me... Oh. Before I could finish speaking, her face was already crumpled with tears. Granddaughter? That's what he said, huh? So he cared about us. The president. He just didn't know how to talk to you guys after what happened to his own son. I'm a coward. He was saying that regretfully, but he's always been worried about you two. After that, the president told me while Tokachan was using the toilet. In the end, Yukiho-san and Natsuki couldn't get married because he suddenly passed away. So, I didn't know how I should treat them. Yukiho-san probably couldn't ask me for help so easily either without legally registering marriage with Natsuki. I also didn't know how to interact with them. That's why I could only watch them from a distance. I regret it. The president said sadly. Tokachan, who was secretly awake, was watching us talk. Mama, you're crying. But I know, those are tears of joy. I don't know my real papa. He must have been kind, I'm sure. Hey, papa in heaven. Protect everyone, okay? I love both Mama and Oji-san. She wished so, and went back to the world of her dreams. A few days later, we decided to use the loan to renovate the shop first. She chose to preserve the store that held her memories with Natsuki, even if it changed its shape. Please, could you give me some advice on how to renovate the store? However, there are limits to what an amateur can do, so we sought help of a consultant. You know, I'm a pro. Consulting isn't free if you want to hire me. If the shop goes well, one year. One meal a day for a year. Any bento you like for free. How's that? Okay. Let's see it. Let's go. That was easy. This is how we started moving forward. The moment I realized that this was a dream, the monochrome scene became colorful. It was a nostalgic dream of my high school days. At the time, I was being bullied. Stop it! What's the fun in doing that? Although he was trembling, a male student boldly spread his arms in front of me. Although he's smart and has a strong sense of justice, he's somewhat cowardly. Natsuki Takezawa was such a guy, and he often helped me. Before I knew it, we had become best friends. A month has passed since then, and we have reopened the store under Suzume Komoro's guidance. Welcome! Customer traffic has increased. We also have part-time student workers too and our daily one-coin bentos are starting to attract repeat customers. Sorry, Akito-san. Can you go and pick up Toka today, too? Ah, is it that time already? Sure, I'll get going. Thank you. Next customer over here, please. So, what are you doing? During the summer vacation, at the suggestion of the president, Toka-chan was allowed to stay in his company's in-house daycare center. Of course I'm showing my love for my granddaughter. Oh, that's right. Why don't you stay at my house? Oh, Papa, thank you for coming. Let's go. Oh. In no time, he has become a super doting grandfather.
and we hold hands and head to Smile Bento as usual. Jeez, the president should just come to the store at least once. Apparently, he still doesn't know how to talk to Yukiho-san. He is still a coward in that regard. Hey, Papa? Yeah? What's up? Was my real Papa kind? Huh? Toka-chan, did you know that? All this time? Maybe she purposely called me Papa to have me protect Yukiho-san? If so, what a smart kid! Papa is up in the sky, but Oji-san is also Papa. After all, you helped Mama. That's my Papa. <laughs> she was smiling innocently as she said that. Back in the day, Natsuki and I had a conversation like this. Hey, come to think of it, aren't you almost always helping me? And never the other way around? What are you talking about? Don't be... Actually, do feel my gratitude. What was that? <laughs> so, if I ever get into trouble, help me out, okay? <laughs> what can I do? Well, I'll do what I can. By the way, the store's regular holiday is once a week on Tuesday. Today, at Toka's request, we were supposed to go to an amusement park before summer vacation ends. I'm waiting for them now. Hey, Natsuki. It was a promise, so I helped them to the best of my ability. Well, actually, it's thanks to so many people around us, not just me. I muttered those words toward the clear sky. It looks like it's gonna be hot today, too. Thanks, buddy. Huh? Suddenly, I felt like I heard a voice riding on the wind announcing the end of summer. Hey, Papa! Sorry I made you wait. Looks like they've arrived. We become even closer in the near future, but that's a story for another time. <laughs>